a bohemian alchemist and I'm going to be displaying uh, seven pieces on this video and I, um, I used to refer to my art as whimsical but I don't think that that um, uh, expresses completely what it is so I've created the term progressive outsider art so if uh, Anybody ever asked, um, who's Scott Goldie and what's he doing? You just tell him he's a bohemian alchemist and he does uh, progressive outsider art. Um, I don't want to be accused of uh, hypocrisy. Or I don't want to be falsely accused of hypocrisy. Delusion, maybe. God gives me the time and the talent to be able to do my art. And I am going to be, I am and will be, eternally grateful for that. So I've been able to do these paintings with these girls in various states of undress. But I'm hoping to do them that, in a way that's not uh, sexualized, or vulgar, or crude, or salacious, or licentious. Uh, just trying to create art. I'd like to start this video display of my work like this. I met a Frenchman in a field last night. He was out there with an easel painting carnival light. He said, I used to paint the princess. I used to paint the frogs. Now I paint mustaches on dangerous dogs. Sometimes it's a country and sometimes it's a girl. You know, everybody got to have a purpose in this world. You Yankees are so silly about matters of the heart. Don't you know that women are the only works of art? Those were the lyrics from a great rock and roll song by Don Henley called Driving With Your Eyes Closed. And where was I? Uh, but these are just two paintings that I did. Uh, got my models for this whole video for these seven pieces all my models came from a photographer who's uh, I guess best days were in the teens in the 19 teens to the 1930s his name was Alfred Cheney Johnston took a lot of photos of uh, movie stars and showgirls, uh, Hollywood and Broadway fame. That was his, uh, it's what made him semi-famous. But he's probably more famous now because of the internet than he ever was during his lifetime. Uh, yeah, these are just two 16 by 20s. Um, just my normal style, straight up paintings. I wasn't trying to achieve any skin tones here. That wasn't, that wasn't the purpose of this. Uh, I got one girl that's um, kind of a beige gray and the other one's a lemon yellow here. As you see here the, the painting sizes are about 11 by 14. The two girls, my green girl and my beige girl I call them. The frames are, I don't know that you would call them deco or, or more of a modern, more 50-ish kind of modern. Uh, either one's good enough for me or whatever you come up with. I like them though. I'm pretty happy with the shape. These frames take me a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, all my paintings, 99% of my paintings are uh, just uh, pastel pencil and oil pastel color pencil and just on a uh, just on a watercolor paper 
All right. Nothing says progressive outsider art like these, uh, the last two and these two. Uh, as I've said in several of my videos, uh, when I build the art around the paintings, they become one thing. They're married. The frame, I chose the what's termed as an Art Deco fan shape. Uh, everything's the same. It's made out of balsa coated with sand, colored sand. I don't have anything else to say about these. When I did this painting, I wasn't exactly thrilled with it. Uh, it was okay. I had spent too much time with it to throw it away. Um, it was the first painting that I did in this series here. Of, uh, Alfred Cheney Johnston models. Uh, so I made a little mistake with the with the girl itself but uh, I was able to recover a little bit and uh, get it to this so I decided to build a really thick frame for it and set the painting back a little ways set back three inches from the front and uh, this you can hang on the wall or set like both all three of these you can set on the shelf or you can hang on the wall another thing about progressive outsider art you can do. You can hang it, or you can put it on the shelf. It's beautiful. It's great that way. You have uh, you have choices. Nice to have choices. Uh, so, oh, what uh, what I liked about it, or what I, as I was doing creating it, I realized that you can. It's a little shelf in itself. It's uh, it's not uh, so much art anymore, but a decorative piece. So you can put a little perfume bottle in there, and a um, a little you know, round prism globe thing going on in there. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And I want you to remember, I do this for the glory of God. Glory goes up. To him, uh, to him and him alone do I do this work. None of it's for sale. It's another thing about being an outsider artist. It's nice not having to sell you art. See ya.